Hello and welcome to Kedrick Farms. We are back with another episode of the Minnesota Millennial Farmer Map by Mapper's Paradise. We're still on the uh, originally released version of the map uh, because I want to finish off our harvest and switch over during the winter in case we run into any problems. Uh, it'll be the easiest to just switch uh, when we're not in the middle of the year. And so we're, we're probably one or two episodes away from uh, switching over to the new version of the map. Super excited to try out some of the new features. Uh, but today we are going to dive into our corn harvest. And so it is mid-autumn. We've finished up all of our soybean harvest. If we look at the map here, we've still got uh, field 1, field 7, and field 16 uh, with corn on it that we need to harvest. And it is early morning. The ground is uh, still a little bit wet, or the crops are a little bit wet. And so I thought it would make the most sense to get all of our equipment set up here and uh, haul it on over to the uh, other farm there, field 16, and uh, get set up to do the field that's farthest away from the house first. Oops. And then we'll come back and finish up here in the yard uh, afterwards. We'll see how far we can get on this other field today. And so we're going to go ahead and get a worker to drive uh, this combine over to the other farm. While we uh, get the next, the other combine set up here. Um, how big is that field? Just looking here, that's 20 acres, 12, 25. I'm trying to think if I want to send both combines over there. I probably do. I think we're just going to go ahead and send the whole crew. Make sure that uh, we can knock that field out nice and quick. And this is saying, whoops, but there's a shed wall there. Is this saying that my header is not hooked up? It is. Okay. Well, we better get that all hooked up. Um, see, there we go. And we're just gonna back this on out of the shed. See if I can do it without smashing into the wall for once. I'm not hopeful. Oh, we did it! We did it! Nobody saw that slight bump. That's because I'm dragging the header on the ground without uh, picking it up. Totally not because I slightly nudged the door. So let's get this guy going over to that farm as well. Uh, nobody saw that. I did not hit that semi. Oh, come on. We were so close. So close to getting out of the yard without crashing into something. All right, let's try that again. There you go. Be gone. And we're going to... Also need to send the grain cart over there. And then we'll just grab one of the uh, semis, I think. So we'll send this grain cart. And uh, this semi is a little bit easier to manage. Uh, uh, uh. Drive over to the animal farm. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and move this other semi out of the way. Uh, actually, let's just send it. Let's bring it all. We're going to bring all of our equipment out to the other farm. We're, we're going to try and just knock the whole thing out all at once. And it would be great if you weren't trying to crash into our bins. Get over here, and away you go as well. So we have got quite the convoy headed over to the other farm here. Uh, so yeah, so let's head over there, and uh, hopefully the crops will be dried out by the time we get there. So we've made it back up to field 16. We've got all of our equipment kind of just parked in the uh, grass here. So let's go ahead and get these guys going on this field. And we're going to go ahead and just start him off here. 
He's going to figure that out, I'm sure of it. And we're going to get his buddy going as well. And he's all set up. And then we're going to get the uh, grain cart going next. What is this guy's problem? He didn't start. Let's uh, let's help him out a little bit here. One right. Drive course. There we go. And so we're gonna go and. Uh, grab this grain cart and just uh, help these guys finish this field up real quick. It's pretty much just going to take them uh, about two trips around the field, I think, to uh, wrap this up. And so we want to get down here and unload them uh, before we get to this far back corner, I think. So, zippity doo -dah. Talk all night if you want. I ain't got no place to be, no one's waiting for me. I won't lie, I'm into you. Got like a million ideas what we could do. Cause I'm not gonna let you slip away. I won't waste this. There's something about the way you fix your eyes on me. I can't help myself fall in love. I go crazy. Uh, uh, uh. What you wanna do now? Should we head back to my place? Listen close, there's just something about your voice I think that every word you say to me is like poetry I just want you for my own It's really easy to tell that you're the best girl I've ever known I'm not gonna waste this uh, uh, uh. What you wanna do now? Should we head back to my place? Uh, uh, uh. When you give me that smile, I think my heart's turned up the pace So in hindsight, bringing two harvesters out here was probably a little bit of overkill. Um, we really didn't need them. This is going to be a pretty quick field to harvest. And uh, we didn't get caught up to this guy in time, so now he's trying to back up and cut over. Um, so yeah, we're not really going to be able to do anything about that, so I'll just wait till he's done cutting in. And we'll unload him while he stopped here, and I will go 
start pulling a truck forward, I think, so I can unload into the truck. And, uh, yeah, we should probably fill up both trucks with the corn that's here. I'm um, not entirely sure, but uh, that's my guess. Because each, uh, this is one trip around the field, and it looks like we're going to about fill up the uh, uh, grain cart here. And I think there's probably two and a half trips around the field, and each grain cart is almost a semi, so... It should work out to be just about right. Um, this combine unloads incredibly slow. There we go. So we'll dump this and then uh, that other combine should be up here about the time we get dumped. Whoops, I got way too close to this semi. Uh, my point is we should be able to unload on the go for the uh, next combine here and catch up with that guy as he's starting to get a little bit fuller. We're going to fill this back compartment first, I think. Now, is that guy waiting for the 100 meters because uh, this guy's backing up probably? There we go. Yeah, I feel like I'm always guessing, like, what is course play doing? Are you waiting on purpose? Are you stuck? Nobody ever really knows. I don't know what this guy's doing down here on the corner, though. He's just kind of goofing off. Oh, well, there we go. He was just cleaning up the mess, apparently. Doing a good job. Uh, I think I'm going to wait until we get going down the long road to try and unload this guy. So we'll just get lined up over here. Like us so. Pull up a little bit so I'm not in the way for whatever shenanigans he's going to do. He should just pull right in though. I don't know where he's going. Where are you going? Come back! Okay. I guess he's gonna cut the corner out. It's just a weird way to do it, but it works, I guess. Yeah, 80% of what I thought was just gonna get left there, so... Whatever. Oh, he's going back for it. Nice. Alright. Well, more power to you, Mr. Combine. Let's get unloading here. You're about half full. We'll get you emptied and then uh, go grab your friend here and then he should make it all the way back down here before he needs to be unfilled because uh, there's not nearly as much uh, for him to bring back because of the narrow part here. It looks like he's actually grabbing the last of the uh, corn strip here, so I think these guys are gonna finish this bit in the back here uh, this round as they're coming back, so hopefully uh, They will get back into this last section without getting hung up on anything. And so I think if I empty this guy now, I empty his buddy when he gets back here, uh, I won't need to run back here again. That's the plan, at least. We'll find out. Oh, he's turning. We're losing the corners. Probably don't care enough to come back and do it manually. One of these days I'm going to look into the different uh, course play turn options. See if there's a smarter way for them to turn. I'm sure there is. I keep seeing updates in the dev uh, 
comments about how they're updating all these different things that I've never heard of or played with in course play. Every time I get a new version, I'm like, oh man, you're fixing bugs and stuff I've never even used. I should probably play around with it a bit more. Alright, this is done, and then we're going to run back here and just empty this other combine one last time as he turns the corner here and then uh, I think what we're gonna do is go back and dump uh, the rest of this into the semi real quick and send the semi back up to the yard alright that's a lot of corn on this corner let's see if I can dodge around it we might have to hijack a uh, combine to help us out and get rid of that or it's gonna drive me nuts We'll see if uh, I can get this dumped into the semi and get back up here in time to grab him before he gets back around the corner. Otherwise, we'll try to forget it and move on. We're almost empty. It's hard to tell when you get actually empty because the uh, combine will just keep emptying as it fills, which is where I think we're at. I don't think it's going to actually get empty empty. Yeah, so here we go. We got what we need. Time to get ourselves back down to a semi-truck. Alright, here we go. Back up at the semi truck. We're just gonna top him off here real quick. Shouldn't take much. He looks about topped off. Check the back. Good deal. So I am going to go ahead and send him on his way back up to the main farm. Just gotta tarp our corn, give the worker some directions. Uh, farm bins. And I think what I'm gonna do is turn him around so that he is going the appropriate direction. Save him some time getting back up there. And I should get a notification when he's up at the farm bin so I can jump up there and unload him real quick. In the meantime, we're going to go ahead and just keep loading up this here grain cart. And once it's full, or fuller, we'll uh, load it into the other semi and send it back. I think I'm definitely going to get this into uh, the two semis. We might have to bring a little bit back in the auger wagon with us. Uh, we'll find out. There's not that much left. It's just uh, this section right here, so I'm really not worried about it. In fact, it would probably all fit in the auger wagon if I wanted it to. just not super excited about uh, driving the auger wagon with corn in it back up to the farm so I'm hoping to get most of it into this semi So 
always a struggle to uh, keep an eye on how much is in the combine. You gotta look at it pretty much top down. go ahead and pull this other truck forward since we got a minute or so before the second combine catches up with us here and since we're gonna be unloading field side I'm just gonna kind of pull him over a bit here give us a little extra room to work with And I'm just going to whip around here and try and catch this guy before he gets to the corner, which uh, doesn't appear like it's going to be super effective. I'm going to catch him right as he gets to the corner and not really get a lot done for my efforts, but alas, that is how the cookie crumbles some days. Hurt. Alright, tell you what, you go do your thing, I'll catch you in a minute. I'm going to see if I can fill up at least the back hopper here. I do love this uh, J&M grain cart, it unloads so fast, it's super nice. I could see myself picking up a second one of these as the farm gets big and just running two of these. These guys are going to go back and forth the short way over here since they were going the long way up on the top part. That's fascinating. I can't say it's overly efficient, but sometimes uh, course play just has to do what course play has to do. We will uh, clean up this section manually when they're done since there's going to be quite a bit of missed uh, spots, it looks like. It's also going to make unloading kind of a pain. Hopefully this guy stops at the end and just dumps into me. There we go. Although I think he's stopping because of the convoy mode, not because he's dumping into me. But I will take it. In fact, we'll pull up a little bit so that when he starts going, I've got more time to react. And I'm surprised he didn't start going again. Maybe it is because he's dumping into me and he thinks he's at the end of the row. Alright, that must have been what it is. Because he's picked up his head and he's driving through the corn. He's a crazy guy. And this other guy's going to cut through so I'm gonna come back down here and leave this guy out of the way here and we're gonna jump over to the farm and get that uh, semi unloaded we just gotta back him up a smidge and then we're gonna load the wet silo Good deal. Get this back hopper going. Get the front hopper going. And then I think I'm just going to pull him out of the way because I really don't think we're going to need another semi. At least right now. So I'm just going to put him right over here. He should be nice and out of the way there. And then I got to see if I can catch uh, this other guy. He's already cut through the other way again. We need to unload him. He's been doing a few rounds without that 
Well, he doesn't look that full, so I guess really uh, we're just doing some short rounds. He's probably not going to fill up before he gets to the end, but I'm half of a hopper away from filling that semi, I think. Where are you going, man? There you go. You go in. Hopefully, he'll stop here at the end like the other guy did, and we can just get the rest of it. Yep. Good deal. Then this other combine to my other side is gonna pick up this bit that's left, I think. Don't hit me. Oh, that's gonna sting. All right, let's see if I back up a bit. Yeah, he just needed an extra few inches. All right, we have wrapped that up. I don't think I've got enough to unload into the semi just yet. So I'm gonna try and grab what he's got to. You gotta start dumping before he gets there. I don't think he's going to stop. Oh, I got in front of him. Perfect. And fill me up. Come on. Top it off. Almost there. Oh, you're going to run right into me, aren't you? Jerk. Jerk. I don't have enough for a uh, semi. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna run up here, I'm gonna unload what I have, but I'm just gonna leave him there in front of the semi, and then we're gonna go grab this other combine that's about to finish the part he's doing, and we're gonna pick up all these loose bits because there's just a lot of wasted corn here. So he can just kind of hang out here. This guy is getting hung up on a fence. So let's go ahead and stop him from embarrassing himself. And we're going to just take oops, this corner off and take it all the way up and pick up the little bits. Perfect. More little bits. Good deal. And then we just got these uh, two big corners left, so we'll go ahead and get that uh, picked up here. Shouldn't take but a moment. And then we'll be ready to see how much corn we got out of this field. It'll be about little over two semi loads. If only I remembered how much a semi held. I think it's like 1700 bushels. We'll have to look here in a second. We've got just these two more bits to clean up. We missed one corn stalk. That's about the way it goes. Oh, we missed a few more. Well, let me grab this little cluster. And that should be good. And then we'll go ahead and dump this and then go grab our other combine because I'm guessing he's going to be hung up on that same fence. Oh, I turned it off, but I was still moving too fast. There we go. Alright, let's grab this other guy who's running headlong into a fence. Because that's what we do. Course play. Got it. Now let's run you back up and dump into the semi as well. And we will have wrapped this field up. Hopefully you're enjoying the series. 
Uh, and... I hope you're enjoying the series. If you are, please consider leaving a like and uh, subscribing to get more content like this. Uh, we also do tutorial videos on uh, Tuesdays and we'll be introducing some more miscellaneous content like Farm Sim Network and a roleplay series here in the nearest future. Squeeze on in there. All right, there is 0.1 bushels in my grain cart, which seems a mite glitchy. And yeah, just shy of uh, 1,700 bushels in a semi. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this guy around like the other guy. Oh, we took out the sign. Embarrassing. And we're gonna send this guy back to the farm as well. And so yeah, we come up at two full uh, semis of corn off of this one field. So with that, we're going to send all of our equipment back up to the main farm. And call it an episode. And that's all for today. Ketterk, out.